At a time of nuclear weapons and budget cutbacks, the highway's defense need is obsolete, yet America's most expensive road rolls on. Despite the fact that the highway was already being built, Native Hawaiians joined with environmentalists to save the valley and its sacred sites. I tell you, we drove up there this morning. It broke my heart. It's, this is desecration at its worst. You should see all the hapu, just all dead on the road. Koa, black koa, which is so, so rare in Hawaii, just all dead and lying on the ground. I mean, it's like they're tearing the na'au out of us. And it hurts, it hurts. You cannot go up there and not feel hurt. I mean, you give these men machines and the destruction is unbelievable, unbelievable. These many years, I was never, a, I never found myself in a position where I had to stand in front of the police, where I had to say this is the type of issue where you have to take me to jail. But I cannot tolerate this type of desecration. Focus your minds and pray. Walk ahead of me and I will follow you. Walk ahead of me and I will follow you. Touch me. We are seeing across the United States and in Hawaii the destruction of Native sacred places. This cuts against the First Amendment right of all people. We are each called upon to examine our hearts and to make such a commitment, uh, each one of us individually. Whether you are Hawaiian or not, you are called upon at some point to stand up and defend what is sacred.